All right, you guys, so we are at the new barbershop, the Bexley location, which we're opening in two weeks. I haven't seen it, but uh, we're gonna go check it out now. I haven't seen it since the last time you guys seen it featured on the vlog, so let's go check it out. Yo, Tomb 45 is having the biggest sale of the year. It's actually the only sale we've done all year, but it's big. I'm talking 30% off the entire website. That includes wireless charging, all this amazing stuff, color enhancements, everything, 30% off. So happy Black Friday. This sale is for a limited time. Happy shopping. Here with my wife, who never participates in the vlogs. Got the kicks on, though. She has not seen it, right, babe? You haven't seen it? So we're right next to the Lash Studio. Look at that. Those have tables on them and plugs. So you'll be able to like charge. At least that's what it looks like. So like all of this will probably be stuff to do because there's a big neighborhood behind this. So we're right next to this Lash Studio. We're really not supposed to be here without a hard hat, but you already know. Ask for forgiveness, not permission. All right, we're almost here. I don't like the length of my hair. The Lash store is, is done. Pretty much ready to go, huh? Yeah, look at it. They did a good job in here. I think ready to go. I'm but you don't need no damn day. creepy crawlers on your eyeballs. Wait, that's my husband's barbershop right next door. <laughs> that's what you gotta tell him. Yeah. Literally next door. You gonna go you in? Are you gonna go in or no? Babe, can you please go in? That's why we came here. Oh, my really? damn barbershop. So, tiling is done. Floors gotta get done, but look, they got the stations. Huh? 10 stations? Good job, I like those numbers. Yeah, 10 stations. Yeah. The the tops are gonna be really nice. They're getting wrapped um, with like stuff. All this will be wrapped. I mean, it's gonna look is amazing. Gonna look at the be, ceilings. Is it gonna have to be real tight in here? Can you have you been to any of our other barbershops? Yeah, I feel like this one's more narrow. This is how all our barbershops are. You're bringing negative, negative questions. I'm asking These are These are private questions. questions you ask. Isn't this gonna feel a little narrow? Like that's private question. No. That's not on the vlog. So we make the most of all of our square footage. I think it's dope. It makes it, it makes it a little bit narrow, sure, but it makes it so that everybody's talking, everybody's sitting across from each other. Barbers are working in this area. Their chair's right here, so there's, there's plenty of space. We just need a limited seating area. We don't need a thousand. Most of our barbers are gonna become appointment only at some point because of demand. TVs and all that stuff, look at that AC unit. But the ceilings came out nice, right? Yeah. Came out really nice. But it doesn't look super small. Sorry guys, I wasn't supposed to ask that question. It's okay, I forgave you. You didn't right. tell me that I was allowed to ask before we came in. Okay, are you, no, done? Are you done? done are you done yet? Are you done yet? Yeah, we always get it from the, the same person. We bought 20 chairs. We, he gives us the best price because we buy so many chairs. Yeah. We probably bought like 50 chairs from him. What do you think? Nice like, plaza, right? Yeah, I like the plaza. I'm excited to see what they put in here. Yeah, I think the list will be like on a Facebook group or something. Two weeks will be open, man, which is kind of crazy because it still looks like a lot of work needs to be done here. But she didn't want the last place to, to open on their own. That's probably gonna be like a restaurant over there. Oh, it's gonna be a brewery. Look, the brewery. That's perfect for like these areas, right? Yeah. That's just gonna be packed. That brewery. And listen, if you're looking for a job, you're a barber, you want to join a team that is about you growing together, no ceilings. This is a team you want to be a part of. Yo, so I pulled up to our first location ever. It had gotten a remodel. I just want to show you guys because this is a, a reference so that you can visualize what our newest location will look like inside, like the walls and everything once it's finished. Got it. Hairline is crazy. This is the hardest hairline in the world. If anybody could master this hairline, I'm telling you, go all over this hairline. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. That's the original barber sign. You guys can see we added the logo. And then you guys can see all the window cleans are fresh. They're new. Are y'all ready? Look inside, look inside. Look at these floors. So this is what Bexley will look like at the buck stuff. We changed. All of them will have like like different hints and stuff. And we added like some secret things to the art. Y'all slow today. You guys can see the floor. All right, y'all, it is Saturday morning. I'm on my way to the to the new warehouse because we've been moving stuff from the old one to the new one. I haven't been around because I've been doing my daily duties, but thankfully I have an amazing team. Shout out to Kyle, shout out to Bobby, shout out to Dre, shout out to, of course, Master Splinter, Danny, Toon Doc. Shout out to the whole squad, man. I'm Don and Tabitha and the ones and twos at Pike County. We just got a solid team, bro, and everything's, everything's going well. Harold, everybody, man. I think uh, Danny counted 10, 18 wheelers worth the stuff that's just pallets that's not even like furniture and office supply and stuff like that it's a lot of work man you know, the property's getting worked on as well it's just a lot of stuff man that that we're doing but if you want to build wealth what barbers don't realize especially my, my successful barbers biggest expense of your lifetime is taxes it's not your mortgage it's not your car payment it's none of that it's taxes right and if that's the case why don't people invest in more energy and time 
into learning more about it, into trying to save money there. Everybody be trying to save money on rent, on their mortgage. Everybody be trying to save money on their cars, on their car insurance. But the biggest expense in your lifetime, people don't put any effort towards saving. Bro, in the last couple of years, I've paid multiple six figures. Last year alone, I paid in the high six figures in taxes. And that's me being taxed at a lower effective rate than the average barber. Because the average barber don't have an escort. The average barber doesn't understand tax strategy. The average barber's paying the max taxes and the only way they know how to lower their taxes is to lie, to lie to the IRS. And that, you don't wanna lie to the IRS, guys. Not just that, but you're lying to yourself. You're killing the potential of your growth. The key to paying less taxes isn't to lie and hide your money. No, you can't grow that way. The key is to learn the tax laws, guys, and put yourself in a situation where you're buying so much real estate, but how can you buy so much real estate if you don't have no money? You can't show the banks you got money. You can go to private lenders, but you're gonna be getting charged crazy interest rates. And then when you wanna refi, you can't refi because you can't go to the banks, especially in the beginning. Ultimately, that's where we're at. We're trying to buy real estate with, and it's out of necessity. It's great for the economy. It's great for, for it creates more jobs, all that good stuff. Um, It builds wealth and all that. But one of the key things is there's guys who buy stuff that don't even make sense to buy. It's because they make so much money. They're not buying it for more money. They're buying it to save money. They're buying it to lower their tax expenses because their biggest expense is taxes. All right, so this is one of the units. I can't believe we own this. We own this. <laughs> the little bathroom, bathroom right here. And you can see they're painting it, adding value, guys, adding value. You add value to the property, the property's worth more. And the property's worth more, your net worth goes up. You play Monopoly. You also have a big building here that helps you lower your uh, tax liabilities. You have storage units. Back there, you got two more units. That's also, that's actually being rented. So all of those are rented. All of those are rented. You know, that's passive income. That one on the back is rented, but there's one more unit there. I think that's vacant. I would love to buy this big ass building right here. We're gonna get all this repaved. Just make it look prettier. Then guys, I'm, my career choice was being a barber. You could build wealth in any profession, any profession. You just gotta learn the game, guys. You gotta learn the game, you gotta hire the right people, you gotta put your money in the right places. I rarely ever pitch or, oh, we own the rights to this billboard? This is a, this is ours. Um, Right now, somebody's leasing this, but when they're out, we could put our own billboard up if we wanted to, or we can release it to them. What I was saying is, I don't really be pitching a lot of our, uh, the stuff that we do, like our businesses and stuff, but I got to because I know how detrimental this is for, for a lot of you guys who are trying to figure out the game. And it's, it's pie accounting, guys. I'm telling you, you want to set yourself up to potentially be be able to, to earn a little to no taxable income, wealth. I don't know about you, but you know some of you guys are getting a $10,000 tax bill. Shoot, that's, that's money to buy your mom a car. That's money you could you could put in other people's pockets. That's money you can create other opportunities with. You know, we don't know where the government's putting that money. A lot of times they're they not putting it where we want it. Don't give it to those guys. Put it where you want that money to go. Not just that, but have somebody hire a whole team that's gonna make sure your finances are right. Profit and loss statements. We're right next to the airport. But um, you know, someone that can connect you with the right banks, with the right lenders. What my recommendation is, if you're thinking about it, you know, as long as you make about 40, 50K a year, you better go sign up, man. I'm telling you, this this is a game changer. We created this because we know it's a game changer, guys. Pie County. This is why Danny is, is Master Splinter. This is why he's Tomb Doc. Hold on one second. We were talking about, about adding value to this property. Listen to this. What we're gonna do is, once you clean this place up, this place used to rent for like nothing, right? So that's why we got it inexpensive. We'll spend $50,000 on asphalt. We'll spend $60,000 on a double wide. Four offices, two bathrooms, kitchenette. Split it down the middle so there's two offices on this double wide trailer. Maybe $75,000 with two offices and a bathroom each. Now you've got a nice clean area. We've repainted it, we've lit it up, we've taken off all this old rusted stuff. Now you've got a double wide there with the office. That space now rents for three times as much as it used to rent before. This space will rent us for three times as much as it was before because it's got an office. Throw a small little one up in the front and now you got that space with an office space and we'll literally, we just tripled the income of this property. <laughs> Let's go. Too bad we're, uh, we're the ones paying the rent right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, facts. All right guys, so this warehouse is already done. I want you guys to see the difference. So this is the before. Now, check out after. 
So the lighting isn't great, guys, but you guys can see, look at this. Painted, nice and clean, fresh. All the racks are up, pallets are in here. Looks great, looks great. But this looks so much better. Look at the floors. The floors are pressure washed and clean. I don't know if you guys remember, there was nothing but, man, what a huge difference. Bro, and we own this. This is our real estate, boy. Stop playing. I know it's just been a dream of mine to, to have commercial real estate. We're going to keep buying, guys. We're going to keep buying. This was only possible. We got our paperwork right. We got our books right. We were showing income. That's how this was possible, guys. The way we did it with the terms that we did it. All right, so I had to come back to the old warehouse to show you guys uh, to go get Danny's truck. But this is the old warehouse, guys. It was huge. Huge warehouse. Back there, there's even more space when you turn the corner. Floors of office space. So we're kind of downsizing, but we're not because we didn't own this. We own the new building. We're gonna outgrow that building and we'll need to, to go up to more space, probably next year. That's playing Monopoly, guys. Look at this chair, guys. We only got to use this zero times. This was supposed to be for our booth. And the day we brought it to CT Barber Expo and we're bringing it over, we hit like a curve or something like that in the venue and it fell and broke. But man, the chair was gorgeous, right? And we haven't fixed it. <laughs> and we haven't fixed it. I have one job. Guys, look how I wrap this thing. Awful. So bad. <laughs> That's on the weekends, me and the wife, we make it a thing to do date nights. So yesterday we did date night. Tonight we did date night. This is a, uh, a speak concert. I already finished uh, pretty much half the drink, but let me show you guys what we had. The spot, this is the vibe. And then I had an old fashioned with banana bread. It's amazing, great drink. And then she has a Viper, which is, it's a strong tequila drink. It's got a kick to it, so she got the Viper. That's what that is. So there's two businesses open in this plaza, but this plaza, it looks like it still needs a lot of work. At least we'll learn something from it. Y'all just realized the floors are already done, guys, so. It looks just like the new Tampa shop I showed you guys. Look at Loco, y'all haven't seen him in a while. But check it out, guys. So all the wraps are done now. You guys can see see a little bit of a uh, 245 snuck in there. Look, right there, see that? That's pretty cool, but yeah. Got the city of Tampa. You got the name of the shop, Bexley. The famous Tampa art headlines logo. Then you got all the Tampa teams. Got headlines and then some more of the skyline. The ceilings. I like the LED lights. The small shop, but this is real estate. You gotta make money off the square footage. And to be honest with you, you know, it works for us because our barbers we try to get them booked. We have a lot of walk-in traffic, but eventually it shifts to being mostly appointment. So we don't need like the biggest seating area, walk-in area. So probably put some seating outside as well. I want y'all to see what kind of hammer uh, Loco. This is, this is the hammer Loco got in his tool. I got another one. It's just in the car. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'm heading to the new barbershop to Bexley. Um, it is a uh, Sunday. The same weekend as uh, as Black Friday, sales have been amazing. You guys have been great. Don't forget, 30% off everything on the website till tomorrow at midnight. I'm heading over there. They're having a team meeting now. Didn't know, but I'm, I'm going to pull up anyways. Say what's up to the guys fire them up because we're opening soon which means the barbershop is really close to being done i want you guys to see kind of the process of getting parks over there. that's his honda who the perez think he is we got any uh progress here yep we do all right y'all can finally see the floors just need some sweeping Speaking yeah of that, what up guys what's up boy look at the uh the counters all right y'all we had a great team meeting um this shop is opening tuesday so Super excited about that. Broke down kind of like, you know, expectations and stuff and vision and, you know, locker room stuff, man. Team stuff. So I'm excited. I'm excited Tuesday for, for the grand opening. And now it's on to the next location. Quick to end this video, man. I want to just preach something to you guys because I, I don't think you guys understand how important this is. The ship you're on matters. I don't care how talented of a barber you are. No matter how hard you paddle, you could be the strongest on the ship, bro. If the ship has holes in it, if it's sinking or if it's just a bad ship, it got holes in it and stuff. No matter how hard you paddle, it's gonna be a lot more work. It's gonna take a, a lot more time for you to get where you wanna get if you're on the wrong ship, guys. The barbershop you're gonna work at, vet it, guys. Vet a few barbershops in your area. Make sure you're joining a good team. And it doesn't even necessarily have to be a team. Just make sure that you have a plan for your business. 
and that the shop you're choosing is going to be a, the right place, the right fit. There's people who they have an idea of what they want to do with their career long term, but you choose a shop, for example, that won't let you raise your prices on your own. The whole shop has. That's not a good environment because, you know, not everybody's going to be built like you. Not everybody's going to be built up the demand to be able to raise their prices. And so if everybody's raising their prices together, man, you're going to have to wait a lot longer. Because again, it's not going to be based on results or based on the work you put in. It's going to be based on whether or not a shop owner feels like it's time for everybody to raise their prices. That ain't, like if, if you want to be able to raise your prices, that ain't the right environment. And I know some shop owners are going to be mad at me for that. Hey, I'm telling you right now, barbers became barbers because they wanted a flexible career. They wanted to be their own boss. They became barbers for the same reason as shop owners. And when we become shop owners, we forget that. And barbers, you want to try to get to a place where based on whatever it is you want to do with your career, you're choosing a, a platform, a ship that will have no ceilings for you. Because you don't want to be a, a shop hopper either. You want to be the, the, the barber that's in a different shop every year. So barbers, be smart, choose the right ship, vet where you're going to go work, and just know Headlines is the perfect shop for anybody. Anybody. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. That's all I got for you guys this vlog. Let me know what you guys think, man. Let me know in the comments what you want to hear more of, what you want to see more of. I need inspiration for my content, man. So you guys inspire me to do the stuff that I do. So please comment below.